With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is for a reaction A to P. The plot A and P with time at temperature T1 and T2 are given below. This is the plot. Okay. So if T1 is greater than T2, the correct statement is that assume that delta H0 and delta S0 are independent of temperature and ratio of log K at T1 to log K at T2 is greater than T2 upon T1. Okay. Here H, S, G and K are enthalpy, entropy, gives free energy and equilibrium constant respectively. Okay. So let us see. For here we are given reaction A to P. The given reaction A to P. First we know about the what is enthalpy. Enthalpy is defined as the sum of internal energy and product of pressure and volume. Okay, so delta H equal to delta U plus P delta V. This is our enthalpy. Okay, where delta H is change in enthalpy, delta U is change in internal energy, P is the pressure and delta V is change in volume. And what is entropy? Entropy is defined as the measure of thermal energy per unit temperature, which is delta, delta S equal to Q reversible upon T. Where delta S is change in entropy, Q reversible is reverse of heat, it is the temperature. And according to Arrhenius equation, what is Arrhenius equation? Log K equal to minus Ea upon Rt plus log A. Okay, where K is rate constant, Ea is activation energy, T is temperature, R is gas constant, A is pre-exponential factor. Okay, so we can say that here, K is inversely proportional to temperature. Hence log K1 upon log K2 is greater than T, T2 upon T1. Okay. As T2 is greater than T1. Now on cross multiplying we get T1 log K1 is greater than T2 log K2. As we know that delta G naught equal to RT minus RT log K. Okay. Now delta G is standard gives free energy is less than 0. Then it is spontaneous. And we can it write it as minus delta H naught plus T1 delta S naught is greater than minus delta H naught plus T2 delta S naught. This is our standard gives free energy equation which is delta G equal to delta G naught equal to delta H naught plus T delta S naught. Okay. Now we can say that delta H naught is less than 0. Therefore T1 delta S naught is greater than T2 delta S naught. So T2 is greater than T1, hence delta S naught is less than 0. Okay, from here we can say that delta H naught is less than 0 and delta S naught is less than 0. This is the correct statement if T1 is greater than T2. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.